Well, Jen, I want to know what what are they saying out there? Y'all, they are... Read it. Tell me. Talk to they them. They are so excited. Everybody's just going crazy and so supportive of all the ladies. And uh, the energy is just as exciting there in this little box on the screen as it is right here. What so. are they saying? Well... <laughs> The suspense was killing them. I mean, they were all getting crazy for a minute. I had to get, you know, calm them all down and tell them the announcement was going to be made. Uh -huh. And, of course, we had a question real quick. I, I, one question was okay. we wanted to know what Jack's favorite recipe is. What does he <laughs> love to eat? <laughs> the question is directed to my grandson, Jack, uh, who will be four in August, and his favorite thing is fruits. He adores fresh fruits because his mother and daddy really started him out when he was like six months old, uh, exposing him to fresh fruits. So they're, they're lucky. They're very wow. lucky. Well, Jen, isn't this wonderful and exciting? I'm just dying, Bella. Well, keep talking to him. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Gosh, I may keep them here longer than what I was supposed to, Greg. But that's all right, isn't it? All right, so anyway, uh, our category that's coming up next is the appetizer category. So let's go back to the video and see how those girls did. My name's April Sladen McKinney, and I'm from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm a realtor there, and I just got married 17 days ago, I think it is. I can't even keep track of the time. Oh, it was so much fun. Cooking for him is really, it's built our relationship, honestly. And I actually made the Thanksgiving turkey this year, so <laughs> I was pretty proud of that. I'm Stacy Shields from Las Vegas, Nevada. I am a speech therapist. I do in-home therapy with um, kiddos with autism and developmental delays and other speech and language. I am a huge Paula Deen fan. My bridal shower was Paula Deen themed. I'm cooking through her cookbook. My husband and I love her shrimp and grits. It's our favorite. I'm Karen Ross. I'm from Norman, Oklahoma, and I guess you could just say I'm a mom. I am married uh, to maybe the greatest man in the world, Jack. I have two wonderful children, Jack and Katie. Our favorite thing to do as a family is uh, we have a boat. It's fat and sassy. Uh, my mother named it. Jack's fat and I'm sassy. It gets awkward if you mix the two. I'm Annette Gladys and I am from Fairfax Station, Virginia. And I'm a stay-at-home mom but also a part-time real estate agent. And we have two children. Our daughter, Selena, is 21 and uh, our son Lucas is 16. They bring their friends over because we're supposed to have the best food in the neighborhood. <laughs> so I love cooking for them and um, they're just the light of my life. We have got our next competitors up and ready waiting in the wings for us and it's appetizers. So let's don't waste another second. Let's get those girls out here. Hey girls, appetizer girls. Y'all ready? <laughs> Y'all get started, cause I'm ready to have an appetizer. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Paula. Good luck, Great. angels. Thanks, Good Thank luck. You. Bye. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stacy is at the stove, y'all. How did you hear about this? Are you a computer? Well, you know, we're friends person. on Facebook. I don't know if you know. Um, yes, so we I are. knew that. Yes, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how did you find out about us? Well, I also am your friend on Facebook. Good, I knew that. <laughs> So I, and I go to your website and search for recipes all the time. Yes, we talk often. Yes, yes, best of friends. <laughs> April is a brand new bride, I am. Brand yeah. spanking new. How long have you been married, April? Um, two weeks and two days. Two weeks and two days, and she's already mm -hmm. slaving in the kitchen. Slaving away in here. <laughs> Oh, so fancy. It, it, is that butter yes. and cheese? And I gotta get over to my sausage. Mm -hmm. 
looking beautiful. That's a delicious presentation. Presenting my dish to the judges and Paula today was great. They all you know, seemed to love the dish. They got to see me and get to know me, and I got to kind of see Paula's personality even more, which is always fun. This is my dream. This is not a whim or something I just wanted to try. This is what I want to do with my life. Your husband's going to be a very lucky man. It was awesome. Presenting to the judges was a little crazy. You're standing in front of them and they're all staring at you, but it was fun. They made me feel so relaxed. Stacy, this has been such a great privilege for me to kind of pay it forward mm. because I've had some really good breaks. I had so much fun making my dish today. It was so super easy and relaxed in there and it was just fabulous. I love um, the fact that you have creaminess inside. You mm -hmm. have your biscuit yes. dough that gets a little bit of crunch, but mm -hmm. then you top it off with more creaminess on Absolutely. the outside. <laughs> it was fantastic. You know, presenting my dish to Paula and the other judges was amazing. Y'all are great cooks. You've got wonderful ingredients to work with. These are delicious. To give my dish to her, and then she told me that it was really good, I was just I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> yeah. You kept the flavors very honest, and it's delicious in it. Thank you, darling. Today's cook-off was simply amazing. Having the judges um, actually judge my dish was perfect. These which I are great for tailgating, aren't mm -hmm. they? Perfect. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. Perfect for tailgating. Yes. You don't know what's going to come out of her mouth, kind of like mine. So we go on great. Your selection of bun and bread is just to go for. Well, I've never been told I had nice buns. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm just going to finish the dadgum bun. It was amazing. Dream come true. So let's bring the girls out. Come on, appetizers. girls are so cute. Now April is here from um, Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro Tennessee. <laughs> and she made the blue cheese pizza. So what made you decide on, on that one, darling? Blue peach pizza. Um, well, I was on a low carb diet before the wedding. Cream cheese is low carb. And I love sweet and salty together, peaches, blue cheese, pizza's got to have cheese. So sausage, all of it just kind of came together and, and it turned out great, I think. <laughs> I think so too, because you're standing here. Now, <laughs> Annette is here from Fairfax Station, Virginia, a beautiful part of our country. And she made the Philly stuffed mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I've yes. been making them for a while. And they were good. Yeah. Well, thank they you. They were very, very good. Thanks. Um, so, how, how, did, how did you feel Monday during the cook-off? Did you? It, you know, it was so much fun, and I was nervous at first, uh -huh. but then when the four of us got out there, yeah. we just had the great, and of course with you there, we had the greatest <laughs> time. It was just, it was so much fun. Well, you know, I think cooking should be fun, shouldn't it? Absolutely. Should, it shouldn't seem like work. Right. All right, and standing next to you is Karen, and she's from Norman, Oklahoma, and she made sassy tailgate sandwiches. Yes, ma'am. That is Kari's second appetizer. Yay! For a wedding reception. <laughs> they were wonderful. Now, how did, you, how did you come up with that recipe? Well, I mean, who doesn't love a ham and cheese sandwich? And then you slather it with butter, and then you melt it. I mean, it's kind of like heaven. <laughs> it was kind of like heaven. Uh, all right, and last in our category is Stacy, and Stacy is here from one of my favorite places, Las Vegas. Yes, ma'am. Woo! And she made breakfast empanadas with a chipotle cream. Yes, ma'am. What did you think about her dish, Lori? Well, 
Well, I love the fact that you took an ingredient like refrigerator biscuits. It's so easily accessible to home cooks who like quick and easy kind of things. Rolled those out, put a great filling in it, mm -hmm. and it was just so easy to do. And that chipotle cream sauce with the cream cheese was good. And I might even add a little wedge of lime in there to, mm -hmm. to uh, kind of fend off the flavor of the heat for those people who are really wimpy to heat. Yes. So you did Absolutely. a nice job. Thank you. It, it was. It was. It was just delicious. And has the competition really been relaxing to you? I don't know if I would say relaxing. It's been very busy. We've been, just been going, 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 going. So, um, but it's been so much fun. Well, so what's so the funniest it. thing that, that's happened since you've been a part of this competition? Oh my goodness. Since you've been here since Sunday. Since I've been here. Hmm. Anything you can tell Auntie Paula? Well. I won't tell a soul. Um, oh goodness, put me on the spot. I think probably the funniest thing was um, when we were doing the cook-off and you, you kind of came up right next to me and you asked me about my nose ring, and I thought, have you, have you been talking to my mama? Because my mama's not a big fan, and so <laughs> you kind of threw me off, and I thought that my mom would really no, appreciate I just, that. No, so. I just thought, you know, if you can go buy these diamond trees and grow diamonds out your nose, then I might I'm trying. I might I'm trying. One. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, Aunt Peggy, I want to go back to the mushrooms. Because I remember you just commenting and commenting. So what, what did you? Oh, they were so good. I love the marriage of the mushrooms with the Philadelphia cream cheese. That was just mm -hmm. a wonderful combination. And uh, it, the, your selection of mushrooms were just the right bite size. Just awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I thought so too. And we have had a lot of stuffed mushrooms over the Three, years. Yes. Uh, that, and the, the thing that I liked about hers is they were not all tricked up. Right. You know, they're mm -hmm. just the wonderful just the flavor of the cream uh -huh. cheese. Yes. Well, guess what time it is, girls? Are y'all excited? Of yes, course. I'm excited. <laughs> Do I have another batch of flowers somewhere? Right oh! <laughs> I'm, you were on the ball this time. I'm a good man. <laughs> you, 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 were, you were easy trained. <laughs> All right, well, girls, I have the winner in this envelope along with a check. And once again, you were all winners. It was such a pleasure to be with y'all. It, it, it was a pleasure. Y'all are all precious. And your food was wonderful. But Karen Ross is going to walk away. sandwiches at your wedding, honey. They were out of this world. Thank you, ma'am. And uh, I know that we're going to be seeing more of you. Mm -hmm. And you do Philadelphia cream cheese right, girl. Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. Blessings to you. Blessings to you, Corey. Chubby dorky sister. <laughs> <laughs>